energy focus for the week. What's going on with you as we open up to this week? Hi, Terry here. This week, as we go to start, we have some dark of the moon energy. It can feel a little dark within. Maybe you feel a little drip in your energy. And that's okay because that's actually what we want to harvest. We want to recognize right here in this gap between the old cycle and the new moon coming in, we want to really harness some of those lessons, some of those struggles. What did you learn last year? What are you making new intentions for? We want to harvest that energy so that we can set new intentions to move beyond. With this new moon, especially in Capricorn, it helps you to ground, ground in that energy Look at what you do want to wish for and bring forward out into the world. This new moon, the first one of 2024, it's offering you that opportunity to really have those cords cut, release the energy out, and set new intentions, even ones that might actually scare you. Winter is all about dreaming. So this new moon, we're in this dreaming time. We're envisioning parts of ourselves. We're clearing up old karmic energy, ancestral energy as well. So as you harness the work this week, as you go into your meditations, as you listen and bring in your messages, your guides, ask, what is it? What can you really open up to in this new year to come? Ground with that energy, open the heart, be that creator of your life. That's what we wanna bring forward as we move through this week. The new moon comes in on Thursday. Again, it's in Capricorn, which is going to help you be able to see what you need to see. What are those lessons learned? How can you open up, set some new intentions? A lot of old contracts were finished out last year. A lot of contracts you came in with, perhaps new ones that you took on, many of those have been cleared, according to what I've channeled in. And so you have the opportunity to create new contracts for yourself, for others around you, for the work that you do, the possibilities, being of service to humanity. This is the energy coming in as we open up. It's a very positive new moon, that earth energy helps us to really ground. You're going to feel like, yes, it is now the start of the year. Here we are. How can you look at it in a different light and a more inspiring one, more empowering? How can you open up to that? That's the energy coming in. This is the energy to help you set your intentions as we come into this energy on Thursday. So let's take a moment to pause, align our energy, and we'll look at some cards coming forward for this time right now. So wherever you are, if you can, take a moment, close your eyes, tuning in to your spirit, call it in, right in the deepest part of your heart. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale, pulling all your energy into you, calling in your spirit. Take another deep breath, feeling that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Dropping into the heart, sending a little Reiki to you as well. Feeling into that deepest part. What are those lessons? What are those messages coming in for you? Opening up, imagining yourself standing right here in the direction of the north where we dream. Dream into this time of intention. Take another deep inhale and exhale. Feeling this vibration opening in your heart, start to bring your awareness back. As we go to look at some of the cards coming back. So the first card that comes forward is Ace of Air. New mindset, I love it, new mindset. Ace is potential. So that means the potential is there, you get to fulfill it. How can you? This is like cut the cords and all that old energy of the mind, all those thoughts we tell ourselves and open up. There's freshness, there's stars, there's energy that clears and opens up the mindset. So as you go to manifest, as you go to set those intentions, come at it from a different perspective, a different mind. Call in that element of air. 
The other cards that come in, the seven of earth, all right? Earth, Capricorn, are grounding energy. So this is about all those many things that we can get ourselves all distracted about. But what it's showing us is seven, our spiritual number, the hidden resources. It's asking you to really focus in. Focus in on what that big lesson is for you. How you want to set this path. Course correct, all right? That word just came right in. Course correct, focus in. Bring some of that forward as you go to set your intentions for this week. The lover's card. This is about the divinity you have first and foremost with yourself. Create that divinity. Know thy path. Know you are the one within you that creates that source of love. And as you create it for you, you open your heart and you can share it. But first and foremost, check in with that love for you. Big messages coming in. Love yourself. Love yourself. I know this was some of the podcasting I brought in this morning for the Saturday show. Love yourself and that will radiate out all around, deepening relationships. And then we have the Father of Air, another air card. This is about finding that balance, noticing what elements are out of alignment for you. The Father of Air is an activist, someone that can sit there and know what they stand for. So what do you need to do to shift some of that energy to know what you stand for as you go to set those new intentions under this new moon, focusing in, grounding with that sun energy of Capricorn, knowing thyself to be true, know your path, love, 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 love more in 2024. Bring it forward, yourself first, and then it will radiate out all around you. Be the activist for your mind, your life, your path. Take a nice deep inhale, bringing all these messages in for you. Noticing what resonates. Notice the cycles this week. Notice that the energy will lift up as we move towards the end of the week. Take some time for you. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Check out the podcast this week. I did a projection of energy for 2024 using the Empowered Spirit Tarot. And if you would like a projection for your path, your energy, reach out. I'll do one for you. Look at each of the months. Schedule a session now. Have a great week. Set those intentions as they come in for you on Thursday. Curious more in 2024. To your spirit, have a great week. Namaste. Namaste.